Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie. Today I'm really excited to show you how you can create animated videos with custom 3D characters and your own synced voiceover using Create Studio. This is a software I've had my eye on for a really long time and I have finally had a chance to use it. If you click on my referral link in the description below, you'll be able to get this software right now for $67 lifetime access. There are no monthly fees, and what's amazing is that you have commercial use rights with the videos you create. So you can create and sell videos to clients. I thought you could only make 3D style videos with Create Studio. So I was so excited to see that not only can you make custom 3D videos, but you can make promotional videos, business videos for local businesses, YouTube. There are so many options. But in this video, I really want to show you a quick demonstration of how you can make a custom 3D character, a short little video, design your own character, add some fun actions, and add a voiceover. So the first thing we're going to do, open up Create Studio and click on New Project. Then you're going to click here on Settings, and we're going to choose Resolution, and you can choose the size of video you want to create. Maybe you want to make a reel or something for Instagram. I'm just going to do the standard 1920 by 1080. And now we're going to click here on Studio and we're going to click on Backgrounds. You can see there are so many really cool backgrounds to choose from, lots of different 3D backgrounds. You can even upload your own background. So to download a background, just click here on the download icon. And once you've downloaded the background, you can just click and drag it onto your timeline. And what's great is that some of the backgrounds are static like this one, but many of the backgrounds, especially the 2D ones, are customizable. So for example, this background here, you could move any of these elements where you want or delete one of the elements if you don't want them. But for the purpose of this video and keeping things simple, we're just going to use the static image and I'm going to click and press delete and delete that background. So now my favorite part, we're going to create our own character. Click here on 3D character. So here you have some kids, some adults, and then some emojis. I want to use this character here and customize her to try to make her look similar to myself. So again, you can download the character, and once you've done that, click and drag onto the timeline. So here we have the character. You can click on her or him and click on these nodes to adjust the sizing. You can also click on rotate to reposition her or just see what she looks like, but we're going to customize her. So on the side here, you can customize pretty much every aspect of this character. Let's start with the hair. We've got all these different hairstyles. Again, you can click on rotate to get different side views. I'm gonna go with this one here. You can also click on top and change her outfit. You can also see this one here, t-shirt big logo. Here you could add your own logo to the t-shirt as well if you wanted. I'm just going to stick with the t-shirt. Then you can click on bottom and you can give your character jeans or cargo pants. And to change the colors, just click here on colors and you can change the skin color. You can also choose the hair color and the eye color. If you want to add lipstick, you can change the color of the t-shirt or the top and of the bottoms and even the shoes and the nails. You can add facial hair if you wanted. If you were using a male character, you can add glasses, you can add a hat, change the shoes, even change the eyebrows. And you can add some accessories. If you want to add some nice eyelashes or some headphones or some earrings. And if you wanted to add a logo, you can click here on logo, click on logo, and you'd be able to add a logo to the t-shirt if you chose the logo option. Again, I want to make this a quick tutorial so I won't get into all of the options, but that's basically how you will design your character. So now I want to add my voiceover. Now you can either upload your own voiceover or you could use text-to-speech software. So if you click here on music, you can click on speech, and here you have some credits that you can use to generate your own AI voice, or you could click on Google and all of these voices are free. You would just type your script here, then choose female or male voice, whichever one you like, and the accent, and then click generate speech. In my case, I want to add my own voiceover. So you could record it directly in Create Studio from your microphone, or you could upload a file. So I'm going to upload my own file. I'm going to click here on media. I'm going to click import media, then select my little file. 
then click and drag it onto the timeline. So I'm going to zoom out on the timeline so I can see the entire track. And to do that, click down here and just go to the left. So what I'm going to do is click on my background image and extend it so it matches the length of the voiceover. So now we want to sync this voiceover to the character before we add some other actions. What we're going to do is click on the voiceover and all you have to do is right click and select sync with Lenka or whatever the name of your character is. And now let's press play. Hey everyone, want to learn how to make? So you can see that her mouth is now synced with my voice. Now, of course, we want to add some more actions because we don't want her just standing there the entire time. So you can see right now her action is idle. I'm going to click on idle and I want to change this. First of all, you can change the facial expression. So you can make her happy or sad or angry or whatever you want. Let's just make her happy. And you can select if you want her to have some natural eye blinking or not. And I want her first action to be waving. So let's see what that looks like. Hey everyone, want to learn how to make fun? Now I'm going to select add new action. And there are so many different actions to choose from. I'm going to just choose idle for the next one. And then I'll add another action. And you can extend the length of the action by dragging your mouse over this little square icon and just going like this if you want as well. Let's go add another action. And I'm going to just use this talking one because it kind of just has her hands moving as she's speaking. And this is a really good one if your voiceover is particularly long and you just want some natural hand movements as you're talking. I'm going to shorten that so it just matches the length of my clip. So let's preview it. And right here, she's pointing in the air. I actually want to add like a subscribe icon or something to do with YouTube. So I can go over to studio and I'm gonna click on lower thirds and click on this red box one and just make sure to download it and then click and drag it right here. So it's gonna pop up right where she's pointing. And I can adjust it by just clicking and dragging on these nodes. I can just reposition it up here and over to this side under settings, just change it. So I'll add my own information and I'm just gonna adjust the length of it so it's just not on the entire time. Another thing you can do is hover your mouse right here and click and drag up so you can see all the different tracks on your timeline. And if you have the all access pass, you'll be able to generate captions as well, which is a really cool additional feature. So for example, I can click on my voiceover and then I can click on generate captions. So then choose the language of your video. This is not for translating. This is just helping them detect the language of the voiceover. So you can search for your video language. In my case, just click English. So now they give you all these different presets, which are all customizable of how you would like the subtitles. I'm going to choose this oh so bold one. And now let's press play. Hey everyone, want to learn how to make fun animated videos like this one? And if you want to make any adjustments, first I'm going to click on captions. So if there were any errors, for example, or you wanted to change up the punctuation, like here, for example, they just put the number one and I just want to change that to the word. And depending on the caption type, you can also add emojis by clicking on this little add emoji icon. So let's say I want to put in movie and you can put a relevant emoji depending on the caption. Animated videos like this one. And you can also click on style and you can change the color and the font type and the position and really just customize it so it matches your brand and your style. Now I'm going to click exit and I want to show you if you wanted to add some background music to your little promo video. You can click here on music and here you can choose your music genre. There are so many different tracks to choose from. You can press the play button to preview the track and then if you like it, just click the download icon in order to add it to your video. So I'm going to click and drag it to the bottom track right here and obviously we want it to match the length. So one way to do this is to scroll to the end and hover your mouse over and then just trim it like that. And another way is to use the cut button. So I could drag my playhead here and then click cut and that will split it into two files and then just delete this second section. And there we go. Now it's matching perfectly. 
So you can also adjust the volume because of course we don't want it to overpower the voiceover. So you can adjust this down and also add a little fade in and a little fade out so it doesn't sound choppy. So you can go ahead and play around with this until it's perfect. So now let's export our video and we can see what it looks like. Also, just a side note, to save your project, the save icon is right here. You can also click on the little Create Studio logo and choose Save As if you want to save it in a specific place. And to publish it, let's just click Publish. Of course, we'll choose Publish as a Video, MP4, and you can choose your quality size. Then if you click Output File, you can choose where you want to save it or what you want to save it as, and then Save. And now it will start processing. And when it's ready, and that was super fast, you can click Open File to preview it or Open Folder. So let's watch the video. Hey everyone, want to learn how to make fun animated videos like this one? Check out my step-by-step -step tutorials on my YouTube channel. You're going to have so much fun creating videos like this one. So you can see just how easy it is to use Create Studio. It can be overwhelming at first because there are just so many different options and so many types of videos. And that's why I wanted to do this very short, simple tutorial showing you how to create a custom character and add a voiceover because I think the best way to learn a software like this is just to get in there and try making a short video. Once again, you can get the lifetime deal if you click on my referral link in the description below. And honestly, there is so much value in this software. So if you have any questions or you want more tutorials on how to use this software, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.